Hello everyone, in this video we're going to be taking a look at one of my most favourite pieces in my whole collection and this is a Pirates of the Caribbean press kit and this was for the At World's End game which was released on multi-platform I'll just take all the pieces out and you can see it comes in this absolutely lovely woven bag it's really nice, everything in this set is really nice quality Back to the side. Right, first off, we'll have a look at these pieces here, which are you get some uh, like quartz rock and things. There is some info telling us what they are. I'll get it out in a moment. And in here we have really, really nice parts of the Caribbean pin badge. I can just get it out. There we go. As you can see, that is absolutely lovely and it's quite heavy. That's really nice. Just put this away and then I'll. <coughs> open up the actual press kit well, so here we have the rest of the kit which I like to keep nice safe and wrapped up first off we have a nice A3 size poster which I can't display fully here so I haven't got the room to set up the camera fully but there are pictures on the Retro Detect website which I'll have linked across the bottom of the screen now and linked in the description down below so you can click on that and take a look at the full size of the image but it is double sided and on the other side we have the man himself and there's a nice uh, golden Pirates of the Caribbean at World's End logo there and that quality again is really nice paper then we have some uh, bits and bobs here, I'll go on here is a letter saying please find and close the press booty for Pirates of the Caribbean at World's End due to be published in, by Disney Interactive Studios for all current and next gen formats on the 22nd of May a couple of days before the movie release, this was in 2007 we're expected to have advanced review code from early to mid May and box copies in the week of release. To reserve your review copy, please email me at. Right, I will have to get that part blanked out there. Uh, your Bago Hessian also contains an electronic press kit with the latest approved assets. Blah de blah. But moving on, we have some cards here, nice quality cards, just explaining in different languages what the rock crystals that you get are so we have a, a crystal quartz rock and an iron pyrite which is fool's gold and we get two samples of each which are quite nice and that just explains in several different languages what they are and on this piece we have an overview of the game and who it's coming out by and what systems it's on and things like that and that's blank on the other side and then finally in the set we have a Jack Sparrow assets disc which gives you all the info on the game and there's um, in, like all the artwork and things like that on there now there will be another video um, displaying the whole of the contents of this because it is there's quite a lot on it so I've done a separate video of that so I'll link that below now as well and also in the description but yeah that's a PC disc and gives you all the info you need to know so that's everything from the Pirates of the Caribbean at World's End press kit and uh, there weren't many of these sent out and this is back in the day when you know press releases were like this 
Uh, the, I think the PS2 era, maybe the PS3 era is where it really died out. Mostly on the PS4 now, you, you just get a review code or something like that. There's not many games that will venture out into making a press kit this nice. I think Battleborn on PS4 did do quite a few press release items. And also, is it Mod Nation Racers? I think they did a something as well. So yes, as always, thank you very much for watching the video, and if you haven't already, please like and subscribe. I'm here just before the video ends. I'll show you these two close up out of the bag. So yeah, as you can see, a lovely press kit. Thanks again, take care.